All right, as you can see, we put some miles on the VW Beetle, although the EPC light, which you see right up here, and the check engine light have come on since I've been driving it. We're at 118,090 miles. Let's see if they stay on. No, they went off because I, I cleared the code just to be able to drive it back home and get back. And, um, but the problem I've been having is that light came on with the check engine light. At first it was just the EPC light. And then later I parked the car, shut it off. And when I turned it back on, it was the EPC, EPC light with the check engine light. And I haven't been able to go above 3000 RPMs with it, the gear in neutral. And let's see if I can do it right now. Oh, okay. Well, it'll let me do it now. So course i can't replicate on video but in in neutral and then in gear in any gear trying to drive past uh 3000 rpms while at speed it did not allow me to do that so i did get a crankshaft position sensor with the goal of replacing it and fixing my issue but maybe i don't even have an issue but i definitely do because the car was acting up like that so let's get it up in the air and take a look underneath you get up in there i mean get it on the ramps all right, so here is the old sensor, kind of coated in oil. You can see there's two Allen head screws up in there. This is, well, this is the, the engine side. It's, um, but right here, it's where these bolts are. This is the transmission side directly over here, but this is the engine side. So I'll take those two out. I have set up on my little ratchet, I uh, found a four millimeter bit. I don't have my Allen... Uh, metric Allen pack at home. So I have this four millimeter bit on a kind of an extension setup. We'll see if that reaches in there so I can take those two off and then this little clip I can unclip and hopefully put on the new sensor, the new wire. And here is my connection right here. I'll have to take it out of this holder and then unplug it up in here. It's right near the oil filter housing for reference. And the new sensor from Volkswagen, 200 bucks at the dealership from the parts counter. So that's uh, it's, uh, it's not a cheap part for sure, but it is OEM. Uh, maybe you might be able to get it cheaper somewhere offline, I'm not sure, but uh, here's the uh, part number right here. Made in Romania. So we'll see if this Romanian part works on this German car. Oh yeah, what do you know? So, always something to work on, so we will get this replaced. Uh, this is the old one versus the new one. Now the old one, see if we can transfer over this plastic tab that goes in the, in the engine uh, casing, housing, whatever you wanna call it. And that's another piece sticking out of the engine. Uh, casing with this little metal clip. You transfer that over as well. You can see this is what the new one looks like with the old one looks the same. Get them side by side. And of course they look the same on the other end with this part going up into the uh, where the close to where the engine and transmission meet. And uh, these bolts are retained in this section of the sensor. So when you take them all the way out, it's gonna they're not gonna drop all the way out. They're gonna be retained in there, but they will be unthreaded from the block. I think that's all I got for you. We'll um, put it back in and stir it up, take it for test drive. And here we are, here's the new sensor. Nice and tight up in there. I made sure the old one wasn't loose, like those two screws weren't loose. When I was taking it out, definitely were tight. I got my new clip, or I got the old plastic clip on the new wire and plugged back in to the housing here, and then the metal clip on the new new wires inside that, and it is on this part of the engine. And then I got my sensor uh, plugged back into its other half, mating half, and then back in its little holder right there. So all we got to do is um, reconnect the uh, negative. So the battery, which I didn't show in video, but of course, anytime you're working elect with electrical, always disconnect the battery. And we can dash run. Okay, MacGrubers, or in this case, MacGyvers, if the EPC light 
doesn't come back on and as long as I can still rev above 3,000 RPMs test drive successful about four miles on the test drive right there I did a couple going through first second and third gear above 3,000 RPMs and it let me rev above that so that is all good so um, I will keep monitoring as I drive it but replacing the crankshaft position sensor was uh, loading up the parse cannon and firing because you can't just always throw a part at it but based off of what I looked up <clears throat> I should have back probed the sensor I would do admit that that is the narrowing it down almost all the way instead of just throwing a part at it but if this works I got lucky and I will ride it out so that's it crankshaft position sensor replaced on a 2009 Volkswagen Beetle with the stick shift and that's my story till next video probably gonna replace that grab handle it shouldn't be too bad of a fix it looks like there's just a screw there and a screw there and the, I think the old handle right in front of my kiss album yeah here it is this is the old grab handle so we'll uh, we'll mess with that see how the how we got to fix it you can see it's broken on both ends all right thanks for watching see you